This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1439, brought to you today by American Harvest. This time, we are going to jump into the Wayback Machine with a tip from U.S. eventing writer Bobby Costello that was recorded way back in 2013. Bobby talks about the importance of the approach to a jump and how the landing afterwards influences whether or not you make the time. And we'll get right to our tip after we hear a little bit about American Harvest. What if adding just one product to your feed regimen could help your horse recover faster from a show, get relief from inflammation, reduce his nerves, and ease his digestion? If any of those benefits sound appealing to you, then check out American Harvest Premium Hemp Extracts and Equine Hemp Pellets. American Harvest's natural equine hemp pellets are vet formulated and produced from natural hemp. The palatable pelleted formula is manufactured with potent raw CBD using no chemical processing, so your horse will love the taste as much as you'll love the benefits. If you prefer a liquid application, check out American Harvest's THC-free CBD oil or premium hemp extract, which provides CBD from hemp extract. Look for the full line of American Harvest products at your local equine shop, any Hubbard dealer, or online at store.altech.com. And right now, American Harvest is offering an exclusive giveaway for you, Horse Radio Network listeners. One lucky listener will receive a free 90-day supply of American Harvest equine products. Check out today's show notes for details on how to enter. Spend a lot of time talking about uh, about technique, and you know, I'll say that you know we're not going to be just running around jumping jumps just for the sake of it, yeah. Because uh, oftentimes, you know, we go to events and um, and you see, you know, people that that so many people just don't have a real understanding of balance and pace and rhythm and what what kind of what ingredients that you need to make up a successful approach and execution of, of any type of jump. So, um, you know, we'll spend a lot of time with the different canners, you know, the, the different positions that, that you, that one might need for, for either just a fly fence or, you know, we practice, you know, galloping, you know, just galloping down to a lovely fly fence, but actually galloping down in balance. You don't necessarily have to slow down for a fly fence, but you absolutely have to be able to influence the balance in an uphill fashion. So no matter you know, no matter what might happen, you're in the correct balance to safely jump the jump. I always use, you know, like Philip and Boyd and Will Faudry as, as good examples of, you know, those are probably three of the fastest cross country riders in the, in the country right now. And, but you will, you will have to, you know, you'll have to sit out there for a long time to, to see those guys not come to a jump in, in the correct balance, no matter how quickly they're coming. They're always, they always have their horses in, in, in the correct balance for whatever type of jump that they need to jump. So we spend a lot of time, you know, the type of, the type of position that you might need for a, for a, for a drop jump or um, coming into it, like a, just a simple coffin, you know, the position there is obviously different than, than any kind of jump, just galloping through the field. So, you know, it's really, really important to have the technical skills to successfully execute whichever type of, of, of jump that, that, that you're trying to successfully get over. You know, when I'm walking courses with my lower level students, um, say that we're, we're coming to a, a, a complex where it's just a simple, maybe roll top two strides um, and then hop off a bank. But it'll be really interesting, if, especially if it's a, a competition that has um, higher levels as well. Oftentimes you'll see the progression of, yeah, well, maybe you only have to jump a roll top two strides and, and drop down, but maybe by the time you get to the intermediate level, that roll top is going to be set only a bounce stride away from the bank, and then you take two strides afterwards to a skinny. So I, I like to encourage my students to you know rock, come to even though your your fence is actually fairly easy compared to the, to the intermediate, start practicing at the lower level that type of that that ultimate type of uh, balance, pace, rhythm that you would need as you move up the level. Um, start practicing that perfect technique even at the lower levels. So as you, as you move on up, it's not going to seem like such a stretch. I think Mark Todd is a great person to watch. He actually makes up 
a, a second or two after every jump. He moves away from the jumps yeah. so quickly. Mm. Um, but, but, you know, he, but he's absolutely in control and in the proper balance for the jump. But man, he, he is so quick to get away from the jumps. And, and that, that's where I, I think, you know, the good riders like that, they really make up their time on the backside of the jumps, not just, not just, you know, how fast they come to the jump because obviously, you know, for every type of jump, there's a different type of balance. And sometimes you really do have to slow down. Um, but just watch these guys, how quickly they move away from the jumps. And, and, and it really, I mean, you wonder, wow, how, how do they make the time? Cause it doesn't look like they're going that fast to the jumps, but um, they're very, very, very good about the line that they take um, conservative line that they take and getting away quickly from the, from the jumps. And that about wraps it up. This is Coach Jen. I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>